Alright, so it didn't quite go the way we wanted to. What are you going to throw today? No idea. <laughs> I really don't. It's so hard because when you're playing somebody like EJ, if you want him to move on the lane somewhere else, he'll just move to somewhere else on the lane. It's, it's, not, like, uh, it's not like some other players where you can kind of move them away from a comfort zone. So. I think we're just going to have to try and out bowling today. Well, it was a pretty big match this morning with Belmo and EJ. Um, I think we've got to have a better game plan today than we did uh, the second match. And I'm pretty confident Belmo's just going to bowl better because he usually rises to the occasion, especially in this tournament. So I'm going to go to the truck, we we'll get some pads, and uh, see if we can't make some surface prep and search changes to give himself the best opportunity. I think uh, I got a feeling if urethane is okay. He pulls a big number. It could take a big number in this match. Or if the lane gets a little tricky, then it's just going to be about shot making. So off to the truck we go. I mean, the heat is going just as far right as I can. 100%. But I mean, I just feel like the earth will change it. Nah, I, don't know. I, don't think, I really don't think it makes that much difference. The reality?
I think I, I think I struck all nine every single time except two shots. So when you're bowling EJ, you leave a lot of nines. Usually not a very good thing. Um, he had his ball going through them a little, a little better. He's getting a lot of those kind of off hits and the balls that were kind of shaping to go high kind of just stopped there and went and kind of went flush. When my ball kept going, left a four pin a few times. Um, even though I lost, I definitely learned a lot about my ball motion. So now we're into the loser's bracket. We've got a long road ahead of us, but hopefully whatever information I took from that game, that match, uh, is going to help me later on. So we'll see. Not out of it. It's just going to be a better story to tell at the very end. Set a ball with surface and I think might have a chance. We're going to find out. Probably not going to play the lanes the same way we played in the last game, last match. And, uh, new match, new game plan, and better shots. Hopefully the pins fall.
Okay, so another match down by Andrew Anderson. Um, he got the win, but I definitely felt like that was another game that you know, I bowled really well and, and hit the pocket a fair bit, but just couldn't seem to get him to, to fall. Uh, but I made a really good change in that last game. Um, I slowed my speed just a pinch and got my hand into a slightly different position to go. Kind of get the ball to not just face up, but to actually keep going. And it looked great. 269 last game to solidify the win. Into the next match. Keep loading. Get the transitions are doing and what my balls are doing. And uh, hopefully I can keep bowling really good games. Okay, very well executed set just then. Uh, put up 7.30 uh, against one of the superstars of Sweden. Um, Marcus is a, is a brilliant bowler. And you can see once he sees a little shape going through the pins too, he can, he can strike a lot. So I knew I had to bowl really well. I uh, started with that pitch black. Um, and then the left lane, I could use that pitch black for a lot longer. It was a lot tighter down lane, so it let me stay a little further right. But on the right lane, that pitch black just it needed to move left and I needed to curve it more and more. And once I, first, uh, once I saw that first 10 pin, I knew, right, it's done. It's time to get into another ball. Made another great change um, to a bunch of strikes. So, yeah, very, very thrilled. Now, I don't know who I play next, but on to the next round. Like I said, I told you, it's a long road in the loser's bracket. So, but I'm ready for it. I'm ready.
G'day, thanks for watching. If you loved this one, check out the rest of the videos from this playlist or any other playlist. Make sure that you like the video and please subscribe if you would love to be the first to catch any of the latest of the behind the scenes and a whole lot of other cool stuff.